Hey YouTube friends, welcome back to my channel. I want to share with you today a little bit of a closer look of the All About Reading program that I'm using with my son for um, this year. I've actually started him on this program when he was four, so when he started his preschool the beginning of the year, we are almost done with the program, so I wanted to give you a, a better review of it and what my thoughts are so far. I believe I've shared a video where I kind of go over the materials and things, so I'll try not to do too much of that today to keep the video a little bit shorter, but I do want to go through some lessons and just show you the insides of the books and kind of lay out how the program works. We really love this program. It's been working so well for my son. Um, that was one of my biggest fears of homeschooling was um, my fear of teaching my son how to read. Um, my other two daughters had preschool and um, they had a short public school experience. One of my daughters did learn to read in public school um, and so when she came home I didn't have to teach her the beginning foundational stuff of reading. Um, and she's a great reader now and we've used programs that really did, does, don't cater to reading per se but like just build on that fluency. Um, and for my other daughter, she came home after a short while in, in public school as well, and she had all of her letter sounds, all of her letter names, and she had three letter words um, that she could put together and uh, read. But really when she came home, there was a huge discrepancy between what we were being told she could do as far as reading and what she could actually do when she was at home with me and we were learning to read. So um, I did not start her on the pre-reading um, because she already had those foundational skills. So I moved her right into level one of All About Reading and she's been growing leaps and bounds with that program. Um, and so she's still on level one, she'll be done and we'll move into level two um, this school year coming up. So for my son, I needed to start him at the very beginning. Um, he had no um, outside education um, prior to us beginning to learn how to read at home. And so I really wanted a good structured program that kind of took all of those question marks away and helped me um, teach him in a way that um, made sense to him. and. I didn't have to put too much effort into coming up with activities and strategies on teaching him how to read. And this, this is what this program does. So this is the very first level, it's the pre-reading level. I know a lot of people I've heard um, completely forego this level and um, I've heard some videos or some blog posts where people suggest that you can just kind of skip this level altogether but I really want to encourage you that if you are starting out and you need a reading program for your child to not um, forego this level. This level has so many great um, learning foundational skills. Okay, so I'm gonna go over all that with you today. Options on what you can get um, and you know you decide that depending on um, your financial ability, etc. But I'm just going to share with you what we got when we purchased the program. So um, we purchased the deluxe package. Um, so this is all the things you get in the deluxe package, okay? And I'll try to go through them rather quickly um, for you. We got Ziggy the Zebra, which we absolutely love. And I cannot... Um, take much of the credit for any of the reading that my son has done really with this program because um, it's all about Ziggy. He loves this puppet and uh, we are not allowed to do any sort of um, schooling now in general without him. So he's very important. I got him in that package. You also get this pre-reading activity box. This has picture cards and letter sound cards and I'll show you this when we do a lesson um, together. You get two books, you get the Zigzag Zebra, which is a rhyming alphabet book. And um, this one just has the first letter that you're working on, the uppercases. And then it has a little um, sentence or two that goes with the letter. And then when you move into the lowercase letters 
and you're working on the sounds, you're going to be reading out of this book, the Lizard Lou book. And it has um, rhymes and poems and also goes with the letter that you're working on. Then you get the pre-reading teacher's manual. This is gonna have all your lesson plans, your activities, um, just everything you need to know um, to teach reading to your child. There's a bunch of helpful information in the back. If you have um, any concerns about how you say the sounds of the letters, um, when you get to that portion, the second half of the book where you're learning the letter sounds for the lowercase, which um, they're just learning to recognize the lowercase, but you're um, just learning the letter sounds with those. A lot of helpful hints back here, some more um, alphabet songs and things like that. So there's a ton back here. And then of course you get all the lessons and they're laid out the same all the way through. You do different activities um, throughout, but the layout is always the same. So that's really nice. So that's the teacher's guide. You're also going to get the uh, book of letters. And these are the activity sheets that go with the letters um, of the alphabet, uppercase and lowercase. You're also going to get some sheets that aren't um, just the letters. There's like a wagon. I think the one we're going to be doing um, is G tomorrow so you might get an activity sheet that looks like this and then this one has like a little backpack and we're gonna do um, some activity with the word cards and these sheets so these are the activity sheets they color and they do a craft and I'll kind of give you an example of what those look like I still have a lot of these in the book because I've had to make copies for um, my daughters to also do activities when my son is doing it they love to also teach him his preschool so they join in and sometimes they're the teacher and they teach him and they color along with him and do the craft so I make copies of this otherwise um, when they don't want to do it I just pull it right out and um, it's nicely perforated you can easily pull it out um, and do the craft with those so I showed you the books um, what you also get in that deluxe package is the progress chart that comes in the book actually um, and you get some of these stickers and then they just put it on the chart as they do um, their work this is just a piece of paper um, the chart is just a regular piece of paper I laminated it and uh, put it in our binder because he loves to um, keep his artwork in here so I made just a little book for him and this becomes dry erase, so he uses these dry erase markers and he can easily um, color this and then it comes off. Um, so that's that. And then we also got a, um, a tote. So this is a tote bag that we use for the library. You can use it to keep your um, materials and then just take it out um, when you need to do the lessons. Or you can use it for groceries or something like that or library books like we do. So this was a nice addition. Two more things you get that I'm gonna show you. It'll, it'll be kind of difficult to show you all, all of it because it's really long, but right now we're using this lowercase. I think you can kind of see it, sorry. Um, so they have this big poster, something like this, and it has all the letters. You get two of them, you get the uppercase and you get um, the lowercase. Right now we're working on the lowercase letters, so I have this chart out. It doesn't come laminated, but I took it to um, Lakeshore Learning, and they have a huge laminator machine, and it's not very expensive to laminate, so um, that's what I did with this. I laminated it, and we put it up on the wall. The way I do that is I love these sticky tabs, these Velcro ones. Um, I put them on a designated spot and so when we were using the uppercase I had that up I took that down so we can use the lowercase now and I just have the, the stickies um, in the same spot for various activities that we do and so I don't have to worry about um, messing too much with the paint and it's just always in one spot so we have that okay so now let's do a lesson I'm just gonna pick a lesson that he's already done just to kind of show you um, how it 
worked and then I will um, move to a lesson that we were supposed to do today but actually we did some other activity outdoors because it was so nice so we didn't get to it um, but the activity that I'll show you then will be the one I'll use for tomorrow so just to give you an idea of what a lesson in the beginning of the book is and what it's like later in the middle to close to the end of the book okay so for lesson 22 the page will looks like this and this is working on capital V so it tells you um, everything you're gonna need this lesson is going to teach the capital V and a new syllable segmenting game you're gonna need a book of letters um, the book of letters page 51 and 53 and then you're going to need the picture cards for lesson 22 so everything I need is already right here. I have the teacher's book. I have the collection of, oh, for this actual, for this lesson, you're gonna need the zigzag zebra because this one has the capital letters in it. Okay, so you need this book, you need your teacher's guide, and then it says you're going to need um, picture cards for lesson 22. So these cards here are all labeled. Um, so once you get it, it comes in like perforated sheets. You gotta perforate them like just by pulling them apart it's already perforated you just got to pull them apart and then you can put them right in here and it tells you where to put them um, I laminated mine because I didn't know um, how many kids I was gonna use this for and so and my boy's a little bit rough with his things anyway so I laminated mine but there's no reason you have to do that um, so you put everything in here so I'm gonna pull out lesson 22 so everything Everything behind the tab for lesson 22 you grab. All right, so the way we start our lessons is the way it's laid out here usually. Um, sometimes he doesn't want to do the activity first. He wants to do um, the lesson first and then we'll end with the activity. You can do it however way you want. Um, we always start with singing the alphabet song and you can sing the song that they have in the back of the book. Um, it goes to the tune of, I forget what it goes to. We just sing the regular alphabet song um, with the normal tune that everyone knows. But let's see here. Yep, so they have another um, alphabet song that you can sing to the tune of Mary Had a Little Lamb. So that's fun to change it up too. Um, so we sing the alphabet song, we use the chart, or I use some flashcards. When we were doing our letter names, um, I would use the flashcard uh, with the capitals or the um, the big chart that I just showed you. Um, so we sang the alphabet song and then um, I just make sure I have everything I need. It tells you right here all the materials you're gonna need. And then on this day, there was a lesson that we were gonna use those cards for. So this one is called Play Hop To It. So in this lesson, you take out the animal tracks from that activity book. So this is a page that you just tear out and it has these tracks on it and I just um, cut them. So there's one, two, three, and they each have their own little animal tracks. Um, and then you take out the picture cards that it tells you to take out. So for instance, in this lesson, You're taking out the queen, zipper, igloo, um, the violin, uh, the monkey. This one is underwear, flag, crab, apple, octopus. Um, this one, what is this one? Worm, and this one is umbrella. So if you are unsure what the cards are, it just it has the names of all the cards right here. It's pretty self-explanatory, but you want to make sure that your child knows what these cards represent so that when you're showing to them the cards, they already know what, they are, what they're looking at. So you just go over that with them quickly. And then you're going to shuffle the cards for this lesson, and you're just going to put them in a pile on the floor wherever you do this. We did it on the floor because he um, ended up jumping to the tracks like a a kangaroo and then just planting himself on whatever track 
it was that he needed to go on. So um, you can do it that way. You can play it with little manipulatives if you're doing this activity at a table and instead of um, them physically you know, jumping on the tracks, they can just place their little manipulative on the track. Um, so you have those out however way you want to do it. And then you're going to get, I always use um, Ziggy the Zebra. Sometimes it prompts you and it tells you that you're going to be using Z Ziggy the Zebra. Other times um, it doesn't. So that's just you teaching the lesson. But I always use Ziggy and I use a accent um, with Ziggy that's pretty funny that he loves. And so I'll just do the lesson as Ziggy. But it tells you what to say. It's all scripted. Today we're going to play hop to it. You're gonna pick a picture card from this pile and tell me the word of the picture you see. Let's try one. So he would just pick it up and he would say, umbrella. So then you just say, and it tells you exactly what to say. Good. Now count how many syllables the word has. If it has one syllable, hop on the number one. So we'd hop on the number one. Now at this point he already understands what a syllable is because we've played syllable games in previous lessons. So this isn't the first time that a syllable is being introduced. Um, so keep that in mind um, if you're thinking, you know, how is he supposed to know what a syllable is? It's already been introduced in some of the uh, previous lessons. So, um, so he picked the card umbrella. Umbrella. Okay. So he should know that it's three. Hop on the number one. If it has two syllables, hop on the number two. If it has three syllables, hop on the number three. How many syllables does this word have? Umbrella. So the child responds and hops on the corresponding number sheet. So three. So you're gonna continue the game until the child has done all 12 picture cards. So for this game, him and his sisters they all did it together. It was way too much fun for the girls to focus on their schoolwork, so they came over and played with him too. After, um, of course, he was the one initiating, but then they hopped on as well. So that was really fun. So that's an example of an activity that you would do um, with them. And there isn't these types of activities every time. Um, sometimes it is just doing a craft um, with the picture coloring one of those um, pictures in. For this one, oops, we were working on the letter B, so he just colored it in. Um, and I don't think we did anything special with it other than he just colored it. And I can't find, um, maybe I didn't put it in here. Um, so he would just do, you know, a regular coloring page. Um, and then we'd put it, put it up for the day and he could look at his accomplished artwork for the day. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna read a sto story or poem. We always read out of the zigzag zebra. Just for that day, you read out of whatever letter you are working on. So this one was, let's see here. This one was V. So we just read this one. has just a couple pages and then of course what you want to do after that it says to make sure you reach your child for 20 minutes every day so you want to use picture books or uh, whatever type of book um, your child likes I just have a few books here to show you just as an example um, of books that we have used um, this is like the ABC superhero book that he likes we got this at Costco and this is good too for his writing so he uses these and we go over these a lot you can use books like Chicka Chicka Boom Boom it goes over the alphabet and there's uppercase and lowercase in here or just any type of book he likes board books still um, we like the red light green light book and from head to toe the pokey little puppy the Jolly Barnyard, and sometimes we read books like this. Um, I like Sandra Boyton, but when I was teaching my son the, the letter sounds, and we pulled this out, um, it didn't kind of it didn't really work because, um, for example, O here is owl opening, so it has the broad sound of O. Um, it says owl, and so I didn't want to confuse him um, because we're only learning the first sounds 
of the letters, you know, the, the, the name of the sound and then in the name this the letter makes its sound like the long sound and then the short sound so I didn't want to confuse him so we put that aside but of course um, you can do whatever you like um, we also use a lot of the books um, that are from Alpha Tales that I've showed so many times we just love these these have the alliterations in them so they work really well um, when you're working on letter sounds as well um, so we use that so let me show you one more quick lesson and I'll show you what we're going to do tomorrow actually just to give you an idea so that was uppercase now we're on lowercase and we're gonna be working on the letter G lowercase and here we're gonna get um, it says to teach this lesson the lowercase G you're gonna um, teach them the initial sound so it's the first sound the G makes the G sound um, you're gonna need your book of letters and the book of letters is where I showed you has all the activities Let's see here so for this lesson lesson 33 um, there's actually three sheets to it so they have this sheet to do for the lowercase g and it tells you what kind of activity you're going to be doing with it if you choose to do it exactly how they say um, use crayons blue paint um, a feather is optional and it just tells you to color the goose the sky and the letter g with crayons uh, paint the water with blue and green paint and then optional glue the feather on the goose's wing we um, most of the time do this as suggested other times he just wants to color it and then trace the letter um, so we do that so for this lesson you're also going to be circling the letter g and it does mention in this lesson that you can decide whether or not you want your child to do it if they are ready for this um, just because it's showing the different um, ways they can encounter G's in books like book face and um, like typewriter printing and like handwriting prints so if um, your child isn't ready for this then you don't have to do it um, my son was fine with it so he's gonna do this one and then there's this backpack page and this is gonna go with the activity that we're gonna do so again we start the activity um, the lesson with the alphabet song and um, we talk about today's letters G and we look at it and I say the sound G says G. can you say that and he says it he, he's pretty good with um, a lot of his letter sounds because we've been practicing them so much um, throughout the day so he um, just does that and we get everything that we need out it says we're going to need picture cards for this as well I forgot that um, so you're gonna need picture cards for lesson 33 so you just go back in here and you get your lesson 33 picture cards out so these are the cards and it has right here what lesson it is so you can easily put it back where it goes you don't have to worry about um, having a hard time about that if these get left out for a while and you forget what lesson they're on so we get those out too So here is the lesson. So here is where it says, uh, it talks about this worksheet. Um, the letter G has two basic shapes and it shows you the shapes of the G. The first shape is most commonly used in handwriting and informal fonts. The second shape G is used in most texts. So use your judgment as to whether or not this is a good time to introduce this sheet to your child. You can use this sheet today or you can save it until your child is ready. And then here, you're going to be playing a game. You're gonna play Ziggy Takes a Trip. So we haven't played this yet, but it looked really fun, so I'm excited for tomorrow. So you're gonna take the backpack sheet and the picture cards for lesson 33 from your activity book and make sure your child understands what each picture represents. So you have this sheet and you're gonna take these cards and it tells you what the pictures are. So you have sock, sun, worm, six, violin, snail, nest, goose, sled, stamp, you're back to sock. 
so you just go over that with them and you're going to spread out the picture cards around the backpack sheet okay and then you're going to get Ziggy out I drop Ziggy All right, so you have Ziggy out and you're going to be Ziggy and you're going to teach the lesson. Okay, I'm going on a trip to see my dear Aunt Susie and I need to pack interesting things to show her. I only want to take things that start with the sound of S. Will you help me pack? <laughs> okay, that was a pretty bad impression of Ziggy. But, um, so it looks like you're working on the letter S sounds. So he's going to find the picture. Sock. S yep, he can take that. S sun. He can take the sun. Worm. Well, nope, can't take that. S six. He can take the six. And you get the idea. So he's going to do this um, lesson tomorrow. And then he can either do the craft or do the craft before. Either way, um, that's all you have to do there. And then you're going to read a little bit from the uh, Lizard Lou book. So this doesn't take very long to read. It's a lot longer reading than the um, Zigzag Zebra um, because the poems are a little bit longer. But we usually do all three of the stories in one sitting. So this one's I'd like to have a little yard, the gardener, and then sour sweetie. So there's three of these. So you can choose to um, do one, you know, if you're not doing a lesson a day, you can do one um, today, one tomorrow, etc. however you want to do it. But um, I really like it, um, and he really loves the stories too, so um, this works out well, and then we do our reading later in the day, like our fun um, not that this isn't fun, but like our other fun reading books that he chooses, his board books or his superhero books, whatever he wants to read. And that is it. That is a lesson um, that we have planned. Oh, actually, let me go into this here too, because this has a two page spread. So it also says here, um, have your child help Ziggy choose the items that start with the sound of S and put them on top of the backpack sheet. If Ziggy puts the wrong item in the backpack, the child should correct him. So I think this is also like a little spin. They do this a lot in other lessons where um, Ziggy's going to do it wrong. And the idea is that the child will catch Ziggy doing the wrong thing and kind of help him correct um, what he's doing. And that's always fun. Um, so we do that too. And then here's some suggestions for read aloud stories that you can read uh, for 20 minutes. And that's it, you guys. That is all about reading, the pre-reading level. We really like this program. Um, I hope this is something that's been helpful to you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I'll do my best to connect with you down there and answer your questions. I'll also leave a link to um, All About Reading, uh, All About Learning Press, where you can find um, this program. And also, I just started a blog and I have a Facebook page. So if you'd like to follow me,